well today I've got a uh, it's a PlayStation 1 game this game is TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX this game was made I think 2000 under the MTV Sports title MTV Sports was this TV show um, that tried to you know do the whole extreme sports movement that was kind of starting in the late 1990s and this game kind of tried to capitalize on the whole uh, extreme sports video game movement that started in the late 1990s as well with the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series and uh, Dave Mears freestyle BMX and games like that. But this is a BMX game uh, and it's really the word to describe this game I would use would be average because this is I mean simply it's a very average game it's nothing too extraordinary about it all the levels are kinda of bland uh, nothing too interesting about any of the goals nothing I mean nothing that really distinguishes it from Dave Mira's game or even Matt Hoffman's game um, and it's just not really that good of a game either the control uh, I would say it's very stiff and the only way I can really describe the control of this game is um, try, to try landing a trick you have to be almost completely in the exact position that you were when you started out the trick in like if I'm going straight I have to land it exactly as straight as I was uh, when I started the trick out so if you do a spin you have to be really really precise the only way I could really make an analogy for something like that would be imagine playing Super Mario Brothers but every time you tried to jump on a platform Mario would have to land exactly in the middle of the platform for you know uh, for it to register and him not to die or something like that because uh, this is just really stiff um, the graphics aren't great, uh, the sound, well, you know, the sound's pretty average, there's no real, um, there's no real excellent music on the game, it has some of the same bands that actually Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 used as well, uh, like Mill and Colin, which happened to be in Dave Mirror's Freestyle BMX as well, so they appeared in a lot of different, uh, BMX and skateboard type games in the late 1990s. Yeah, I guess artists have to find their own niche, and I guess that's where they found theirs. But, ultimately, if you see this game in a store, definitely do not buy it. It's not a game where it's so bad where you can go out and say, Oh, this game's, you know, so bad that it's funny. It's not a game like that. It's not even a game like, this game's so good that I want to play it. It's just kind of a middle-of-the-road thing. You shouldn't waste your money on it.